When reading your local avalanche forecast, there's a lot to consider. A great tool out there, Onyx Backcountry's Terrain X feature, also known as DEM shading. It's a great tool that allows users to visualize what they're gonna encounter out there in the field as it pertains to the information in the Avalanche Bulletin forecast. It's a really helpful tool that allows users to be more efficient and safer during the planning process. All right, so let's access these tools. In order to access the Terrain X functionality, you must be an Onyx Backcountry Elite subscriber. You're gonna to go to your web map, go to the top right corner, click this icon, and there you have it. You have access to all these neat tools that are gonna help you visualize the problems that are laid out in the Avalanche Bulletin Forecast. All right, let's dive in. So I'm in the Terrain X functionality, and let's talk about how we're gonna use DEM shading to highlight the problem areas. So for example, I looked at the Avalanche Bulletin, and I'm gonna look at what the danger rating is, I'm gonna look at what the avalanche problems are, and of course, where the heck are those avalanche problems? So let's take an example. We have a persistent slab uh, at mid to high elevation bands, let's call it 8,000 feet. That persistent slab problem is gonna be located on north, northeast and east aspects. We see that the likelihood of that is gonna be reactive. And uh, let's say that the, the slope angle that we're trying to really isolate, trying to visualize here on the web map, is gonna be between 32 and 45 degrees. So I'm gonna, I've opened up the Terrain X function. I'm gonna pick a fun area, how about the Tetons? I'm heading out there in a few weeks. And uh, I'm gonna turn on these three functions. So slope angle, let's set it to 32 to 45. Let's open up slope aspect. I already have here, I'm gonna click north, northeast, and east, highlighted on the rows. And the last one here is gonna be the elevation band. And uh, I'm gonna set it right at about, let's call it 8,000 feet to the, the ceiling of the Tetons, which is the top of the Grand Teton. So I have all that information here. Now I'm going to hold down the control button on my Mac and that allows me to get this 3D, 360 degree view of the terrain that I might be traveling in. You'll see here there's slope shading that's highlighting all of those areas. So everything you see here lit up on my screen is going to fit into that criteria of north, northeast and east. It's all above 8,000 feet. And of course, lastly, all of this terrain that's highlighted on my screen falls into that range of 32 to 45 degrees in slope angle. Another great function of Terrain X, View Shed. View Shed allows me to see at, at the comfort of my home desktop what I'm gonna be able to visualize in the field. So if I go ahead and click this binocular icon, the View Shed function, it turns my cursor on and allows me to visualize on my web map what I'll be able to see in the field. So if I come up to this ridge line here, I'm looking at this iconic classic line, the skillet and the Tetons, and I can only see you know, a small portion of it. But should I move my cursor down a little bit higher up onto this ridge line, say over here, it allows me to get a much better picture of what I'm going to encounter. And of course, we'll get into this later, but we wanna stay clear of run out zones before we get eyes on an objective. So it allows me to take, take a glance at things on my desktop that'll keep me in a safe position and then also give me a chance to keep eyes on the feature. Onyx Backcountry's Terrain X feature is an incredibly powerful tool. It lets you take all the information that you're gonna read in the Avalanche Bulletin and apply it to your desktop before you go into the mountains. It allows you to quickly identify areas you need to avoid and also areas you wanna access.